Michael, what's up? I, uh, my buddy, I'm having a little Starbucks this morning, even though we have our Breville espresso maker, which I got to tell you saved me at least a thousand dollars since Christmas. Um, but we ran out of milk and my wife was just like, let's just get Starbucks today. So first Starbucks in a while, it's awful. Mm. I don't prefer their cappuccinos compared to my own. Um, but my buddy Wayne was going on and on. He was raving about, um, the impossible breakfast sandwich, the meatless, meatless option. And I've, I gotta tell you the closest I came to trying um, the meatless option was that Burger King Whopper, but I did, haven't tried it yet, but I am gonna try this. This is gonna be my first try of a meatless. Well, I, that's not true. I've had Morningstar all my life, got the broccoli bits in my teeth and stuff, um, but excited to try this. Cause he says, Wayne says that he, he prefers it to the meathead option, to the meaty option, to the, the sausage, to the true pig gut sausage. So uh, that's interesting. He doesn't have the best palate. Like I don't trust his palate, obviously, like I trust your palate, um, but he has a decent one. He has a decent palate. Um, doesn't smell like sausage, not greasy. It's not like, it's a little greasy, but it's not like as greasy as like a sausage patty. Um, so here we go. I want to get, okay, I'm going to go here. Real bite. Mm. Hmm. Does it taste like sausage? No, no, it doesn't. Is it really good? Yeah, it's excellent. I don't like, um, I also don't like um, focaccia, if this is even focaccia. The <clears throat> it's choking me. The bun is a little dense. It's that the bun is too heavy. And I'm sure it has to be sturdy for them to freeze it and send it to the store and stuff. But I think the bun is a little heavy, but we're not talking about the bun. We're talking about the innards of the it's good. It is good. Wow. I'm about two years late on this thing. <laughs> mm. All right, man. Hope you're having a good week. Talk to you later.